Hey everyone, made it to 12 coils instead of 10. I went out and bought another 500 feet of copper, 500 feet of cable. I do have a little bit more left, but this thing is getting so heavy as it is that I'm going to stay at 12 coils for now. That way I'll be able to move this thing around. Okay, last shot before I put the secondaries on there. I've wrapped it in a cardboard material that I got from an art store. Stuff's about 60 thousandths of an inch thick. Pretty stiff. This was my first attempt. I rolled it up and uh, had to let it sit for a couple of days at a smaller diameter and attempted to put it on. Didn't work out too well, so I tried number two. Tighter wrap. I used a little bit of the shrink wrap material to join the two ends together and a real thin bead of silicone around the outer edges to seal it. I just don't want, I want to make sure that the uh, the 22 gauge wire doesn't drop down in behind the cardboard, so a quick little seal on that. I installed a terminal block for the secondaries. I'm going to wind two separate sets of secondaries on here. That way that'll allow me to hook them up in series or parallel depending on the turns ratio that I want between the primaries which I can also wire up in series or parallel. So I'm going to run it off of a half inch drive variable speed drill, nice slow speed and this is the last legs of my journey. After this my coil is going to be done, I'll get it on the test bench, I'll fill it full of water and get this thing fired up and see what it's going to pump out. Well, that's a shot of the uh, the first wind on the secondaries. I figured I'd show that to you because that's probably about as good as it's ever going to look. <laughs> so this is actually my third attempt on this. First one, the windings were too loose. Second layer across started to sink in. Second time around, too tight. The cardboard supporting it actually collapsed, so all the windings came loose again. So I've reinforced the cardboard a little bit, and we're on coil number three. So we're almost there. It's just time now to uh, to go through and do the uh, next layer over top. And then I'm going to be finally done. I've got eight layers to put on this. Hey everyone, welcome to my Nathan's Double Field CD player. Thank you Laser Saber and Lid Motor for giving me the inspiration to get this thing up and running. I'll, uh, I'll post the, the build videos on this thing. I've got the, the little CD sitting there with four magnets on it. Read switch comes down and shorts out the positive and negative terminals of the battery and there is a compass moving right there but the one I have to show you is this one what I've been able to do the way I wound it and wired it is I've been able to get a 180 degree reversal of the magnetic core which is I think ultimately what we've been trying to do with this thing. So I've got a set of secondary windings hooked up and what we're doing is, is there's my secondaries. I actually have two sets of secondaries coming off of this. They're wound in series right now and I've got my multimeter hooked up just on AC and right now uh, I've got it on min-max, let's see, 4.6, it's getting faster. So I'm getting about uh, 4.6 volts alternating current out of this thing right now, and it just keeps on getting faster and faster. When I built this, the iron core actually became magnetized, with this end over here being north, and this end being south. But the more this thing runs, the faster that compass seems to spin. And every time I hear my multimeter beep, I've hit a new min-max. So I plan on hooking this thing up to a scope and seeing what type of patterns I'm getting out of the primaries and the secondaries on this thing. 
and uh, in the near future I'll post how I've actually wired all these 12 individual coils together so uh, to give you an idea exactly how I came up with this result.